Hello and welcome to another Xenotic casting video. I'm MX Cam, and before we start, I just need to explain something about this game. We are going to be watching BW versus Morosophos or Morrow, and this is on BW's experimental balance. This, as you'll notice, does not have a blaster. That is a pretty essential weapon that you spawn with in Xenotic that allows you to do little trick jumps for a very cheap rocket jump. And taking that out changes the game quite a lot, actually. So there are some other changes, such as the health and armor decay being 120 before they start, whereas usually they're 100. So if you've got 101, it will drip down slowly. If you've got anything less than that, it's going to stay where it is. So we're going to watch this experimental balance. We'll see what happens. There are a few more changes, but that is the general ones for this video that are important sort of important to the game for your knowledge of why this seems probably quite a bit different to a normal game. So, let's get on with this game. Going to be on one, BW's three, POV for this game. He's sent it in. Going to be doing this standard start. Scoop up the mega health from that position. And you start in this without the, uh, without the blaster, but with the Machine gun, but you still get the shotgun. So, first fight coming out now, and Morrow gonna grab it quite easily. BW not managing to put up a huge fight here. Morrow gonna push in for a second frag, gets it at the uh, mega armor. BW knows the timing on that health, but Morrow's gonna grab it and gonna be able to take BW out. We should be able to. He gets him. Morrow can't have too much health, but he has managed to grab both major items this time round, delaying it. Didn't quite work for BW. He was probably expecting that first frag. But indeed, the disrespect right there. Missing that first shot, missing that second one. Boom on the third. Morrow takes an early four frag lead with one minute into this game. And five frags it is. This is quite a slamming coming out from Morrow right now. But we'll see where BW can manage to bring back a few frags. Going to be waiting around, trying to pick up some weapons. That's where he was at the last fights. He's lost five frags due to basically just not having the weapons. First fight, didn't have a weapon to fight with. Morrow did. And that is extremely important in this game. BW, though, just cannot hit quite the shots that he needs to. Missing again and going six frags down. Morrow now with a big lead and a big control over the map. He's gonna, BW's going to need to do something. Morrow coming up behind. Hits one shot. BW manages to get a good amount of damage. He's going to get the second rocket just as he goes down. But that's got to be off-putting. He's seven frags down. It's two minutes into the game. It's definitely bring backable. Obviously, you've still got eight minutes. So BW could just do this and end up on like 28 frags. Just do exactly what Morrow's done to him and end up on 28 frags to seven. But uh, Morrow going to continue getting frags. An unfortunate spawn there for BW. Going to be right next to Morrow as he comes out the teleporter because those two are a teleporter on this map. And now... Hunting for anything he can get his hands on, I think, BW. Morrow hunting for frags now and hunting to just sort of control the map by being everywhere. If you can control the map by being everywhere, you can not only punish your opponent and make sure they get no armor, no health, and generally no weapons, but you can also force the other player to just sort of walk into you. Because at some point, they're going to. A good shot there from BW. He gets two, but Morrow going to grab the armor and get the kill. Coming through the teleporter at just the wrong time. That must be a bit tilting for BW. And now, scooping up a little bit of health. Has the Vortex. Going to be looking for more weapons yet again. We're three and a half minutes into this game. Morrow has an 11 frag advantage. And the dog is going absolutely ballistic. He's not happy that BW is doing so terribly in this game. 12 frags the difference, BW. 
There's not a lot that he's going to be able to do right now. He just needs to continue just trying to survive, really. Needs to survive. Needs to steal away a few armors, but Moro has such a tight grip over this map. It'll be difficult to see how it's going to come out, actually. Just spamming a little bit, trying to catch Moro off if he comes down. Moro's not going to... Not likely to push the advantage right now. He's just going to be waiting around for BW to come into his sights. Definitely not going to push. The spam, I suppose, it does one thing. It keeps Morrow from pushing into BW. Morrow knows he doesn't have to push. He doesn't have to do anything, really, at this point. He's very ahead. But Morrow, jumping into the BW, gets his first kill. Morrow's made a massive mistake there. He's fumbled. He's jumped straight into the lava. PW. <laughs> Unable to grab the blaster because of his own pack. But he's going now. He's got a good lead in the stack. We have five minutes left in this game. That's the halfway point. And that means that's the point where the game can be turned around. Right now, BW... It's going to be... Ooh, he fucked up a bit early for that. Morrow right in the position to take him out. Gets a good bit of damage. Morrow, you hear the blaster. Off of the floor, at least. And then grenade hits. Doesn't quite connect. Gets that one, though. A good amount of damage has been dealt. BW playing extremely slow and passive game right now but he needs to push in he needs to push in if he wants to get a bit more of an offensive going it's going to be difficult for him to pull this back if he doesn't play a bit more aggressive morrow now going very aggressive five damage uh, five health left sorry but he picks up the mega and he's going to get the kill on morrow now bw has a good position he needs to stave off he needs to grab this armor. But he's going to try and grab some weapons and steal away that tiny little armor away from Morrow. The armor's up. Morrow goes for the jump but misses. He misses the tiny little jump. Morrow should go down here. A beautiful frag with the rocket launcher. Sorry, the uh, mortar. Right there. Beautiful chasing. Grabs another one. Unfortunately, Morrow just goes the wrong way at that spawn. And BW might be pulling this back. We could be having one hell of a comeback game right now. Morrow should go down again here. BW can't quite land it. The longer he waits before he can land it, the worse it's going to be for him. Morrow now picking up little bits of health, doing quite a bit of damage. He's going to go down, but BW has lost almost all the advantage that he previously had. He might even go down here again. This is what BW has a problem with. He's unable to quite finish it cleanly off of the spawn. But now he's got something. Now he's pushing ahead. 8-13 to 13 the scoreline. BW. He's not got the lead. He's not had the get lead all game. But in the last two minutes he's done eight frags. Which means in the next two and a half minutes he's going to have to do another eight. Or, well, he needs to do another five to even it up. Now we've got a game on our hands. 9-13 to 13 the score now. Stormkeeper, map for the comebacks. And BW apparently a man for being a showman because, jeez, this is a showman's game. Morrow, he's back up with a bit more of a lead. BW going to trade it out. It's good when you see some trades. But BW will not want to be trading right now. He will want to just be fragging. Scooping up these armor shards. Stormkeep a map with no secondary armors other than those 225s. They're a little bit hidden. They're not always so easy to get to. Well, it's got a lot of armor shards. The little 5 shards. But they can be denied by your opponent. Quite easily, in fact. They can just walk over them. They don't even have to do damage to themselves. A good jump. The jump that Morrow messed up earlier was that jump from the little ramp, from the stairs, over to the Mega Armour. It's a little quicker. It's a good way to get there from the side rather than walking all the way around. You expose yourself less. 
and you're in a fighting position, you know where your opponent probably is. Morrow now, very low after being hit. Only has a three frag lead to make up in the last three minutes of this game. It's definitely getting very close. That first five minutes was not very good for BW, but this second five minutes has been absolutely incredible. Morrow has not actually got a ton worse over the course of this game. He's not degraded in performance. BW has just possibly warmed up. But most likely BW has uh, just popped off. 30 seconds. He needs to get three frags. 10 frags a second. He gets the first one. He needs two frags. It's still 30 seconds, actually. He needs a frag every 15 seconds. Now he needs a frag every 10 seconds. Is he going to get this one? Drops into the lava. Going to have to scoot back around. He's going to wait for the item. Gets a beautiful rail. One frag. 15 seconds left. 10 now. Where's Morrisot? He hears him. He's going to push in. This has got to go to overtime. He's going to get the kill. Five seconds left. This has got to go to overtime. BW absolute legend bringing this back. How on earth did he manage to do that? 120 seconds added to the timer now. Overtime. You've got two minutes to see who wins. The game carries on. And now BW is... He's more relaxed. He's got the control, but Morrow has to get the control back somehow. Because otherwise it'll just go to another two minutes. But Morrow probably wouldn't mind that. Morrow won for the long game. BW now with the control, just trying to play the control. That was the problem at the start, I think, for him. Now watching this game progress, he's really dug into this control. Really taken the control that he's got now and is running with it. And pushing a little bit more aggressive, but still never as aggressive as Morrow. And, well, I think it may have actually been sudden death rather than a two-minute overtime. But the sudden death went 15 to 14. Congratulations, BW. Well done for winning your own balance. Send me some demos. I'm on IRC. MX Cam. We'll find out a way to send a demo. It's not too difficult. They're not that big. And I hope to see you playing Xenotic.